Hi everybody, today we will speak about eye anatomy. Parts of the eye include the bony orbit, the adenexia, the globe, and the, vi the visual pathway. The bony orbit, two pyramidal cavities in the skull, seven bones contribute the bony orbit, surrounded by nasal sinuses. Important openings in the bony orbit are the optic foramen, superior orbital fissure, and inferior orbital fissure. Medial wall of the orbit is formed of maxillary bone, lacrimal bone, sphenoid bone, and sphenoid bone. Lateral wall of the orbit is formed of zygomatic bone and greater wing of sphenoid bone. The floor of the orbit is formed of maxillary bone, zygomatic bone, palatine bone. Roof of the orbit is formed of frontal bone and lethal wing of sphenoid bone. Adenexia is formed of eyelids, conjunctiva, lacrimal apparatus, and extraocular muscles. Eyelids Eyelids is formed of two parts anterior lamellae, which is a muscular part formed mainly of buclear circular muscles, and posterior part or called posterior lamellae and formed mainly of the tarsus, which include my bobian glands. Conjunctiva it covers the inner surface of the upper lid and then reflects and form the superior fornix and the inferior fornix which is called the inferior fornix in the lower lid and then form the bulbar conjunctiva which is the part of the conjunctiva which cover the globe. The lacrimal drainage system is formed of lacrimal sac, lacrimal ducts which open in superior fornix, two banketi, superior and inferior banketi, two canaliculi, superior canaliculus and inferior canaliculus, joins each other at the main canaliculus, open in the lacrimal sac, which drains secretions to nasolacrimal duct, which open in the lateral wall of the nose. Extraocular muscles include four rectile muscles, superior rectus, inferior rectus, lateral rectus, and medial rectus. Two oblique muscles include superior oblique muscle and inferior oblique muscle. Levato muscle. The levato muscle arises from lesser wing of sphenoid bone, passes anteriorly until it inserted in the superior surface and the anterior surface of the tarsus. The globe is formed of coats, which are called ocular coats. The outer coat, which is the outer surface of the globe which is formed of the sclera and the cornea. Middle coat which is formed of the vascular layer of the eye which is formed of iris, ciliary body and the choroid. The inner coat which is the neural layer of the uh, globe which is formed the retina and the optic nerve. The visual pathway include the optic nerve, optic chiasma, optic 
tract, lateral geniculate body, optic radiations, and lastly, the occipital cortex. Nerve supply of the eye include the motor innervation part, motor to the eyelids, by facial nerve, innervates buccalis oculi, frontalis, and corrugator supercilli muscles. Oculomotor nerve innervates the levator palpebrae subiosus muscle. Sympathetic fibers innervate the subiotarsal muscle, which is called molar muscle and inferior tarsal muscle. Motor innervation to extraocular muscles by oculomotor nerve innervates medial rectus, superior rectus, inferior rectus, and inferior oblique. Trocular nerve innervates superior oblique muscle. Abducens nerve innervates the lateral rectus muscle. Autonomic innervation to extrinsic muscles of the eye, iris sphincter and the ciliary muscle innervated by parasympathetic part of the oculomotor nerve. Bubilodilator muscles innervated by ascending cervical sympathetic system. Sensory innervation, the trigeminal nerve innervates the eyelids via its ophthalmic and maxillary divisions, while ophthalmic branch supplying the upper eyelid, the maxillary branch supplies the lower lid. Branches of ophthalmic nerve include lacrimal nerve innervates the conjunctiva and lacrimal gland, frontal nerve innervates the conjunctiva, nasociliary nerve, its sensory branches give supply to ciliary ganglion, medial conjunctiva, crankle, and lacrimal sac. Branches of maxillary nerve, which include the vertebral branches of infraorbital nerve, which innervates the conjunctiva. Blood supply of the eye include arterial blood supply by internal carotid artery, which give the ophthalmic artery. Ciliary arteries, which are branches of ophthalmic artery, include long posterior ciliary artery. Short posterior ciliary artery, anterior ciliary arteries, which are seven arteries, two for each rectus muscle, except lateral rectus, which has only one artery. External carotid artery supply the eye through external maxillary artery, by facial artery and zygomatic or temporal artery and angular arteries. Eyelids. Lateral palpebral artery from lacrimal artery supplies the lateral part of the eyelid, while the medial palpebral artery from ophthalmic artery supplies the medial part of the eyelid. These palpebral arteries form internal carotid anastomosis with the facial artery. Venous drainage of the eye. The venous drainage of the eye done by four vortex veins and the central retinal vein. All of them are drained by two ophthalmic veins, the superior ophthalmic vein and the inferior ophthalmic vein. Both ophthalmic veins drained by the cavernous sinus of the brain. Eyelid venous drainage medially to ophthalmic and angular vein and laterally to superficial temporal vein. Thank you for your attention.